What are my thoughts on plant-based eating, being a vegetarian, being a vegan in terms of, you know, in, in correlation to building muscle, improving your physique? Uh, I refuse to work with anybody who is a plant-based eater if their goal is to build muscle, improve health, to do anything, period, to lose fat. Um, to be honest, I feel like you're wasting my time. Honestly, is this the real life? Is it just fantasy? Caught in a landslide? No escape from reality? Open your eyes. Look up to the skies and see. Oh, that explains it. So, Vince DeLamonte showed up on my radar for obvious reasons, and I think I have a pretty good idea of why he has a problem with veganism. And I'm a huge proponent of the meat and nuts breakfast, specifically the rotating meat and nuts breakfast. Every one of my breakfasts starts off with some form of meat, and some form of nuts. And I rotate the meat sources and I rotate the nut sources. Yeah, dating Ben Pikulski will make you pick up some pretty bad habits and Vince is under the impression that a low carb breakfast is a good way to start the day. And the resulting brain fog might explain some of his retarded advice. So you're gonna have more mental alertness throughout the morning and the rest of the day. And I've been more alert, my brains work better. Wait, what was that? My brains work better. No Vince, you only have one brain. You might have remembered that if you ate some fucking carbs for breakfast. Vince also calls himself the skinny guy savior, and I have to agree with him because his advice will make you fat. Today we're going to take a look at the top 20 muscle building and fat burning foods of all time. Let's start off with salmon, <coughs> extra lean ground beef, <coughs> and we've also got sirloin, <coughs> skinless chicken breast, <coughs> whole eggs, <coughs> light flake tuna. <coughs> Protein powder. Oh, fuck. You're not making things easy for me by being wrong all the time. Now, the importance of getting meat into your diet is it contains cholesterol. Now, we're looking at that from a positive standpoint, first off, and then that's going to help increase uh, testosterone production in your body, which is the number one hormone for muscle growth. I don't see how Vince could think that cholesterol is a good thing or that it raises testosterone levels, especially since vegans have the same level of androgens as meat eaters. Now, you want to eat this in moderation. You don't want to indulge in this every single day. And what the fuck? He he just said you shouldn't eat it too often, so he knows it increases disease risk, but then he says to eat it anyway. My brains work better. My brains work better. Chicken breast. I don't know what I can tell you about chicken that you probably don't already know. This is one of the highest forms of protein, very low in fat, excellent for bulking up your muscles, but not bulking up your waistline. That's some interesting advice you got there, Vince, especially considering all meat causes weight gain and chicken happens to be the worst form of meat for causing obesity. Next, the most premier form of protein, in my opinion, are whole eggs. I like to have at least four every morning, and yes, I do eat, eat the egg yolk. That's where all the nutrition is. Cholesterol, saturated fat, heart disease, diabetes, cancer. Does anyone care? But to his credit, he did mention a few good foods. Whole grain rice, and I'll even mention the uh, whole grain pasta functions the same. Next is oatmeal. There's a reason why every... Yams are one of the most powerful muscle building complex carbohydrates of all time. They're low with vitamins. Whether you've had one, 10, or 100, keep eating more. Yams are one of his whole grain bread. Now I prefer- the That's a good boy, Vince, good boy. I'm trying positive reinforcement now. But I probably shouldn't praise him too much because he's already a little full of himself. Why do you think it's so hard for people to believe that you gain 41 pounds of muscle in six months? Going from skinny Vince, this is transformation. Six months later. Yeah. I didn't know what was possible coming into the gym. And I think that was my biggest advantage. You know, I didn't know what was realistic or what was possible. And just like a lot of big business icons, like a guy like Mark Zuckerberg, he had no idea how big Facebook could be. And that now there's like 500 million people on it every day. Um, Steve Jobs, the uh, creator of Apple, I mean, he revolutionized the computer industry. He had zero idea of what he was creating. And uh, so Vince thinks his six month steroid transformation puts him on the same level as billionaire innovators like Mark Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs. I think um, one of the beliefs that I have is that everything popular is often wrong. You know, sailing around the world, going to the moon, the four minute mile, those are all things that were once considered impossible. And not only that, 
that, but the guy thinks gaining 40 pounds in six months is comparable to the monumental scientific achievement of the fucking moon landing. And I find that especially offensive because nobody cheated to get on the fucking moon. Oftentimes, people who eat these, you know, vegetarian diets, they replace them with high carbohydrate diets and it just, um, evokes a whole series of health problems. Well, Vince's confidence is a little misplaced because just about everything he says is fucking stupid. The most vegetarian, most plant-based eaters start adding a lot of highly processed foods, <coughs> carbohydrates specifically. And these highly processed foods lead to what's called insulin resistance. They stimulate the hormone insulin, which is only released as a bio logical emergency. The only time insulin is released is from a body, uh, 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 is it, it's a, literally like a survival mechanism. For those who don't know, insulin provokes the growth of cancer cells. Not just cancer, but heart disease, autoimmune disease, chronic degenerative diseases, diabetes. Animal protein is as insulinogenic as pure sugar, so if he was worried about insulin causing all of these diseases, then why the fuck is he still recommending animal products? Check out this book by Lyra Keith, uh, The Vegetarian Myth. I don't think. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I fucking hate this bitch! For those of you who don't know who Liera Keith is, she's clinically insane and she's never been vegan her entire fucking life, despite her claiming she's been. Once a week, vegans eat beef, <laughs> which to me was a shock because I never cheated on beef, but I certainly binged on eggs and dairy every chance I got. So maybe if Vince didn't get his advice from a crazy woman suffering psychosis, he'd know that a vegan diet has many benefits to gaining muscle mass and athletic performance because it decreases acid load and inflammation. And this might be why we see vegans who have impressive amounts of muscle mass and strength and who are even champions and world record holders in their sports and who can easily beat the ever-loving shit out of you. And for those who don't know, cancer was unknown to hunters and gatherers. You're all not gonna believe this, but Vince is wrong again. You know, I think the real reason Vince has an issue with veganism is because he's jealous. He's jealous that vegans haven't been exposed to phthalates through meat and poultry consumption, which causes the feminization of male genitalia, and now he's just lashing out at all of us. And that's Vince DeLamonte. He's definitely compensating for something. Beef. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it, or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how. 